Tonight, growing calls for the Biden administration to take action to once again block Iran's access to $6 billion, which was unfrozen as part of a deal with the Islamic Republic last month. Christine Frizzell reports. <laughs> This video, reportedly released by Hamas, circulating widely online, illustrated what was made clear almost immediately. The attack on Israel was preceded by careful coordination, training, and planning. This was a coordinated land, sea, air attack that had to be months in the making. Uh, there is no way in the world that this happened without Iran knowing. That relationship putting last month's controversial prisoner swap between Iran and the United States back in the spotlight, in which five detained Iranians were released in exchange for the return of five Americans and the unfreezing of $6 billion of Iranian money. Former President Trump calling on Joe Biden to take back and freeze the $6 billion, quote, before it's too late, some taking it further. So while Hamas carried out these attacks, Joe Biden has blood on his hands. His weakness invited the attack. His cash giveaways to Iran helped fund terrorism. The White House continues to insist that $6 billion in unfrozen Iranian money has not even been spent. Officials denying accusations that the United States has helped Iran. Hamas is one of the most highly sanctioned terrorist networks on the planet, largely because of what we've been doing here in the United States to, to, to target them. While the Wall Street Journal reported days ago Iran helped plot the attack, more recent reports suggest Iranian leaders were surprised by the Hamas attack in Israel. We haven't seen any specific evidence uh, that tells us they were uh, witting, involved in the planning, uh, or uh, involved in the resourcing and, uh, and the training that went into this very complex set of attacks over the weekend. Horrific attacks bringing a slew of questions about the U.S. relationship with Iran now and in the future. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting. So what do you think? Should President Biden refreeze the $6 billion in Iranian assets? Just scan the QR code on your screen to answer our question of the day online at NBCMontana.com and let us know.